Let me just explain to you what happened here in a nutshell, because you'll see how the media sets up a narrative and then they all jump in and protect each other. There's a local reporter here in the congressional district I'm running who tw tweeted out a false statement saying, oh, Dan Bongino only has one donor in the district. That's what the tweet said in the congressional district. It was false, Dana. She tweeted out because she couldn't read an FEC report and she didn't understand the difference between itemized and unitemized donors. But her narrative was she was trying to paint was that I was unknown in the district and we were going to lose. It was false. So when we challenged her on it, she said, well, basically, in order for you to disprove my false story about you having more donors, you have to provide to me donor information and then we'll basically retract this story and make it right. When I didn't do that because donors don't want to be identified right. who are unitemized, she said the, the theme that the Naples Daily News tried to put out there is, oh, we were being evasive. Really? Are they asking Bernie Sanders or Marco Rubio or anyone else for sensitive donor information they're in no way obligated to provide? And the answer is no. So they tell a false story and then they demand the campaign, if you're a conservative only, refute the false they story. They want you by to providing. prove the negative. Right. And then Caputo jumped in, tried to be a tough guy. I think he used to work there. And he tried to defend this guy who accused me of being evasive and then demanded that I do the same thing to him. Like, oh, you need to provide to me all this data. So you can see from the first moment of the phone call, if you listen to it, you should hear, I should say, it's not a video call. You should be able to hear that he's not interested in the answer. He's interested in the response. He's interested in being part of the story, not telling a story. Mm. You know, he goads me. And, you know, at the end, he got uh, an explosion from me when he questioned why I was in Florida. And by the way, I'm in Florida and I, I don't talk about it. I mentioned it yesterday for one of the first times because my wife has a chronic illness, uh, lupus, which is activated by stress badly. We had a really horrible episode. You know, if they want the doctor's records, I'm sure one day they can subpoena them right before uh, we moved to Florida. And she wanted to be closer to her mother. I don't bring that up because I'm not looking for people's sympathy. But Mark didn't know that. And he proceeds to say at the end of the tape, you're a loser, you're a loser. You move from Maryland basically because you're a loser. And then he wonders why I had to drop a few uh, F-bombs on him at the end. You know, was it bad language? Yeah, I, I, you know, I have two daughters. I certainly wish I could take the F-bomb back. But I'll tell you what, I, I don't regret uh, taking this guy to the woodshed one bit.